Luis Elizondo just gave a private UFO presentation to sitting members of Congress in what was described as very similar to what David Grush presented. <laughs> oh, this is exciting news, y'all. Let's dive in. If you're new to the channel and you like content like this, let's hit that subscribe button, y'all. We put our new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. And of course, hit that like button, y'all. That really helps out the videos. So thank y'all so much for the support there, vetters. And of course, comment down below, what do you think of this revelation? Um, I find this pretty big bombshell news, y'all, to be honest with you, because this is going to give us an indication of what is in Luis Elizondo's book, his documentary that's come out. And if you want more information about that, um, I did make another video about it earlier in the month because I believe that Luis Elizondo has firsthand knowledge of a UFO, that he has been to potentially a site where a UFO was present. Um, and again, more information on that. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but let's dive into this. Um, this was, you know, broke by the Ask a Poll, Matt from Ask a Poll. Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go check all this out yourself if you don't want to listen to my commentary. Um, and this was made, comments made by Representative Eric Burleson. Okay, now he's been a part of this sort of UAP movement, I guess I would say, since the congressional hearings and David Grush testified is very sort of green to it all, um, right? And coming into it. Um, and yeah, it's this is fascinating. So look, I've got audio of him saying these comments and then I've got some other contextual links that we're gonna take a look at, clips and stuff uh, to give us an idea exactly what David Grush has presented and some other things that Luis Elizondo has said in the past that's quite fascinating. So let's dive in, y'all. All right, if you don't know who uh, Representative Eric Burleson is, there he is right here, this guy in the middle on the podium, um, right? You got uh, Tim Burchett, Matt Gates, uh, Paulina, Representative Paulina, Luna, um, and I forget who this guy is. Not really a fan of that guy, to be honest with you. He's very just like, he seems like he's in it just to get like, UFO votes and maybe some of them are too to some extent but I kind of I don't know just feels like they're a little more serious about it but who knows I mean what do I do trusting politicians it's, it's kind of a difficult thing anyway um so what are the comments well again from ask a poll right let's listen to the audio and um pay attention y'all I'm gonna play the audio and then put the uh uh, text above it. As wait, always. I wish I could tell you more. I know. I wish I could be a fly on the wall. I did have, we did have Lou Elizondo today. Where? In town. Oh, yeah? You know who he is, right? Yeah. He was in town for the um, Conservative Opportunity Society breakfast with Ralph Norman. Okay. So you might talk with Ralph Norman about it. This that was really good. Uh -huh. Any takeaways from the they um, they're not, they're they, Those guys are, uh, from, from what they presented, of course, this is not in a secure setting. They're not under oath. But what they presented um, is, um, is very similar to what David Gresh was presenting. Yeah. Are so. we going to, why not hear from more of those folks? I'm working on it right now. Yeah. I've got something up my sleeve. I don't want to oh, yeah. keep me informed because I've got cool. a big thing that I'm going to. No, nice. You would be related? Yes. I'll be watching. Appreciate you. Yes. Have a good recess. I don't see you. Great job, Matt. Look at that. Um, a couple key takeaways just from this, just right off the bat, right? So real quick at the end, in case you didn't hear. Right. He's saying, I'll keep you informed because I got a big thing that I'm going to announce. And Matt asked UAP related. He says, yes. Right. And he says, and Matt asked him, it's not in here. Right. He says, why don't we hear from more guys like that? Right. Referring to Luis Elizondo. So that's what he's saying when he's saying I'm working on it right now. I've got something up my sleeve. I don't want to talk around. I'll keep you informed. Oh, you know, what is that? I don't know. You know, so apparently this guy is working on something to get more people like Luis Elizondo. Right. To speak more whistleblowers right to speak publicly or maybe give presentations or something I, i'm not sure but real quick one thing that i find interesting he says those guys right first he mentions luis elizondo well first of all how funny is it that he asked matt lazlo you, you know who that is right 
Luis Elizondo. You heard of that guy? You heard of Luis Elizondo? That guy? Again, Burleson is very new to this and may not know that Matt is probably pretty flushed out in it, considering he's very focused on the UAP part and, and you know, he's in there every day hustling it. And by the way, y'all, go go support Matt at Ask a Poll and, you know, give him a, a, a like on Twitter and, a, you know, a subscription follow on his website. Again, I've got the, the link here. Um, so you can check that out. All right. Um, but yeah, I, I find that interesting that he asked him, you, you know who that is, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that guy is, uh, you're right. So he's in town for the conservative opportunity society breakfast. Not really sure what that is. I'm sure y'all will Google it and let me know. I'm sure it's just like a, right. It's election season, right? Just like getting together, talking about stuff. Um, and I guess apart from that, he gave a presentation, right? Sounds like he was there for two birds, one stone. Um, or he gave it at the Conservative Opportunity Society breakfast. I can't really tell, to be honest with you. Um, but he says those guys, from what they, they presented, those guys, they, 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 right? Who is they? So Luis Elizondo and who else? Is it Chris Mellon? Who else is presenting with Luis Elizondo? I'm curious to hear y'all's um, right um, guesses as to who else with Luis Elizondo is presenting. Is it Danny Sheehan? Um, right? Is it David Grush? I doubt it's David Grush. Um, right? But yeah, Chris Mellon, right? Those two guys together. So, but the fact that it's very similar to what David Grush was presenting and what was David Grush presenting, right? Hello. So is this what's going to be in, in Luis Elizondo's book, right? His documentary. It has to be that the U S is reverse engineering this technology. We have, you know, we have crafts. We've been doing craft retrievals. It's been going on for, you know, probably a century or more. Um, at least with the U.S. government's involvement, right? And, you know, people have died. We got alien bodies. Um, I mean, there's a lot there, right? Um, so, and that's what presentation Luis Elizondo is giving. That's news, y'all. That That is, you know, that's news. Luis Elizondo has inferred a lot of things and he's said a lot of things on podcast and whatever, but... Never gone that far before. Never like what David Grush has said. Ever, ever, ever. And he supported David Grush throughout all of it. You know, through a few tweets here and there. Um, you know, I heard about Luis Elizondo working on a top secret project like almost a couple of years ago. And I bet that's what this is. That's, that's you know, what this whole thing is. Part of that project he was working on. Um, anyway. You know, enough of that. Look, th this is, I want to show y'all something. This is basically as far as Luis Elizondo has gone about what the U.S. government may or may not have. All right. So you may remember this and you may have seen this clip. You may not. Let's listen. Yeah. Um, so look, I think we all want to know, do you think any government has recovered a crashed UAP? So what I've said for the record, uh, which is unfortunately all I, I can say, is that it is my uh, belief that the United States is in possession of, uh, of exotic material. And unfortunately, that's, that's, that's about all I can, I can say at this time. How worried are you about a foreign adversary uh, getting hold of this or maybe understanding this technology before the US? I think that's my greatest fear. Um, you know, we are a species that tends to um, be violent towards one another. And my job with national security uh, was to try to anticipate what the enemy is going to do. Uh, if there is an adversary that has this type of technology and the ability to, to operate without uh, impunity in our controlled U.S. airspace, um, I think that's problematic. Uh, we spend millions of dollars ensuring we have what we call air domain awareness and control of our airspace. And uh, clearly, um, we don't have as much control as we, we think we do. So that little image of the little gimbal here, they put it up early, you could tell, right? Because it's the same. Anyway, that wasn't me. So, um, yeah, right? Exotic material, 
right? Exotic origin. Um, that's interesting. Just saying, that's really as far as he's gone, right? And now you got, again, Representative Burleson saying that he's giving a presentation very similar to David Grush. And again, you know, we pretty much know what David Grush has presented, right? Well, look, I made a video like for New Year's, sort of like as a New Year's video. Um, and it was just a David Grush compilation from just this past year of all the different, you know, many of the most of the appearances he's had. Um, and it just kind of sums up a lot of the things that he said and the claims he's made and, and even some of the pushback he's gotten and whatever, right? Just just the conversation around David Grush. So if we're going to try to understand what Luis Elizondo has presented, right, and they're saying it's similar to David Grush, well, we're going to watch this video I made and um, that'll give you an idea, right, to refresh our memories more or less. Um, about this again I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch it uh, you know full screen in HD uh, but let's jump in here bombshell claims from a military whistleblower UFO wreckage recovered by the US kept classified by a secret government program for decades tonight a world television exclusive you will only see on News Nation Mr. Chairman, uh, ranking members and congressmen, uh, thank you, I'm happy to be here. This is an important issue and I'm grateful for your time. I was informed in the course of my official duties of a multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came to some of these recoveries, yeah. My name is David Charles Grush. I was an intelligence officer for 14 years. David Grush. David Grush. David Grush. Former Pentagon official David Grush claims he's viewed evidence of a UFO crash retrieval program. The UAP task force was refused access to um, a broad crash retrieval program. So you're vouching for this guy. What incentive would so many people with that kind of qualification have to come forward and make something up. Secrets he says no one has ever shared publicly before. Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will. Non-human, exotic origin. Non-human origin. So you would think things like actually having alien bodies would be much more significant evidence of there being aliens. No evidence has been presented at all. I don't want to be proven wrong about aliens. <laughs> <laughs> what is there to these claims that have been made? If you're following stuff about aliens and about UFOs and what U.S. lawmakers are saying about all of this, you know things are very confusing right now. Are we alone? And if we were not, would you even tell us? I would refer that question to the Department of Defense and let them answer that question for you. Go ahead. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. Alien spacecraft, certainly interesting. I'm here to protect national security, and I'm just trying to put all the general topics out there for public conversation to hold our government accountable. Really. For the record, if you were me, where would you look? Titles, programs, departments, regions, if you could just name anything. I'd be happy to give you that in a closed environment. I can tell you specifically. They miss the significance time and time again of the finding made by the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community when he referred David Grush's matter to Congress for investigation, that Mr. Grush's were allega allegations were credible and urgent. But do you have any reason to believe that the US government has hurt or killed anybody? connected to these programs, American citizens. What we're witnessing right now is, quite frankly, uh, the greatest legislative failure in, in American history. So what happened to that vehicle? So we knew where it was being stored at a, a particular location. 
um, after the crash, and then the military came in and we we grabbed it towards the end of the war, you know, 1944, 1945. There were concerns, like I stated during the hearing, of people um, that have espoused that to me. And of course, I brought some of those officers uh, to the Inspector General, the Intelligence Committee Inspector General, because I'm like, this is serious. Whether you believe um, my allegations or not, uh, you know, this is a government transparency issue at large. How many crash retrieval incidents have there been? It is double digit. You know, they've kept the secret for so many years. They knew me, they knew what I was looking into. They felt that they were kind of limited in bringing people in, the support they were getting, mm -hmm. their treatment mm -hmm. was harsh sometimes. And I guess they weren't really feeling the love anymore. I'm skeptical, I guess. I, I, I think it maybe it's fabricated to an extent based on our beliefs. Yeah, it's like manifesting your own reality based on your... No, I totally get that, even some of the metaphysics. And I, I was like super careful with confirmation bias and all that. I mean, you know, again, that's pretty much just sums up kind of what David Grush has presented, right? His congressional testimony. And I think that's more or less what Burleson is talking about. And let's be real, the juiciest stuff is in that testimony. Um, right. He's talking, he talks about crash retrievals. Um, again, bodies, reverse engineering, you know, deaths, um, you know, of American citizens. I mean, just all of it. Right. And again, he even had like the places and all of his witnesses and he gave, he wanted to give that right to Congress. And I wonder if Luis Elizondo has the same, like case file, if you will, right? Like think of it, remember David Grush did an investigation, right? For the UAP task force that he was a part of um, before Arrow, right? And that's what led him to this, his testimony, right? I mean, that was basically like a police officer testing about his case that he investigated and he's presenting it, you know? That, that's, that's basically it, what David Grush is doing right there, right? Um, but... Like, is if Luis Elizondo is presenting pretty much the same thing David Grush is presenting, it's safe to assume that he has the same evidence, the same witnesses, right? The same case file, if you will, to present. Otherwise, what would Luis Elizondo be basing his case file off of? And how much of David Grush's case file is built from maybe something Luis Elizondo was building and David Grush sort of came in or did they work together on it? Did they work separately and come to the same conclusion? I don't know. That's also possible, right? These are all these things are possible. Um, I'm just curious. It's interesting, but it is bombshell news that that's what Luis Elizondo is presenting. And it sounds like it's the first time. So he's, you know, kind of getting ready for March, right? When supposedly his book is going to be coming out and this new documentary that he's got, um, and again, go check out the link I made or I have in the description of the video I made where it's, you know, it's inferred that Luis Elizondo has firsthand knowledge, basically, right? Um, which is, again, bombshell news, right? Like, this is crazy. It's getting crazier. This year is going to be crazy, all. I don't care what people say. I'm not saying it will move the needle any or anything's going to, I don't know about that. I can't tell you the, the effect, but there will be a lot of cause, right? Meaning we just have a lot of stuff that's scheduled to come out this year. And it sounds like it's on its way. The one thing that I think most people are disappointed about is David Grush's op-ed, which I totally understand, but look, February's not over. Um, but again, you've got Luis Elizondo's book and documentary, and he's been silent for a long time, y'all, right? It's, gonna, it's coming on almost two years, right? So, and James Fox's new documentary, right, with firsthand witnesses. That, that to me is a lot coming in one year, right? And you got people like Danny Sheehan who are saying 40 more whistleblowers are going to be coming out this year. Um, who is Luis Elizondo's, you know, lawyer, I think still represented him, right? So Soul Foundation and what they're doing, right? UAP Disclosure, you got the election coming up. I, I mean, there's a lot going on, y'all. Um, so, yeah, curious um, 
so curious about this. And um, anyway, yeah, can't wait to read the comments, y'all, what y'all are going to say about this um, and what y'all think about Luis Elizondo and these sort of these revelations. Um, and I think we're going to find out more. So I'll probably make another video. We might find out more details about the presentation. I'll see if it's worth another video or just include it as part of another video. You know what I mean? But I'll definitely keep y'all updated on this. Um, but all that's right around the corner, y'all. It sounds like the little thing, right? Because we haven't heard of Luis Elizondo doing anything. So this is like huge, y'all. Giving a presentation, right? And again, who was he with? Who was he giving this presentation with? So again, remember, David Grush gave a presentation that leaked out, right? Was it similar to this? Was it the same slides? Be curious, right? And if they're giving different presentations, is that weird? I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't think it would be actually. But it, you would think they would communicate in some way or, or form, right? I don't know. Just have a lot of questions. So can't wait to find out what's going on. So yeah, I'm excited about this, y'all. I'm excited to see what comes of it. So again, can't wait to read the comments. But I do want to say uh, real quick before I go, how it was funny that the video that I put out yesterday about Carl Nell um, immediately I started to see all this stuff on Twitter about his LinkedIn profile and all that. How funny that I bring it up in my video. I didn't see anyone else bringing that up. Again, everyone was telling me that's old news. That's from months ago. I just found it odd. All these people on Twitter were all of a sudden like, I think more people watch vetted than I, than I know. So whoever's watching. Hello. Um, <laughs> you know, there, I always find out someone interesting is watching the videos, but you know, whatever people start to come down on Carl Nell and his, you know, his work history and this, that, and the other and whatever. And, um, I think I'm going to do an update on that and sort of cover some of that potentially. I'm not sure, but I found it interesting and that I bring up the foreign material stuff, right. About Carl Nell and the news is what about foreign material and space, right. And Turner and, um, you know, we may have nuclear, Russia may have nuclear arms in space, right? Like the Cuban Missile Crisis, but up in space, right? Um, not aimed at us or anything. I'm just saying that there, that we maybe have it learned of its existence. And I guess it's some sort of advanced capability or something. And people are like, no, it's not aliens. And of course, people hear space and it goes to that. And, and I get it. Um, UAP. Uh, but anyway, they were bringing up foreign material program. I was like, wait, what? What are the odds of that? Um, I don't know, man. I swear sometimes there's just some odd coincidences in life. Man, I tell you all what. It, it's 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 interesting how it works. Um, that is for certain. So, yeah. I enjoyed making this video, to be honest with you. And thank you all for all the reception from yesterday's video. Uh, by the way, uh, people seem to really enjoy it. So, you know. Uh, thank y'all very much. Again, I couldn't do this without y'all. Just want y'all to know that. Um, I respect y'all's time that y'all, you know, are willing to give me. Make no mistake. I take that very seriously. I take what I do very seriously for y'all and making these videos. It means a lot to me. I'm very grateful for it and for the opportunity, right, to present to y'all. Um, and even though I am just kind of loosey goosey and I'm just being myself, right. And just everyday dude looking into this stuff. That's true. But on the flip side, that's just how I am. Like I take things seriously. I take that y'all take the time to come here out of your hard earned, you know, day, right. And your free time and give that to me a little bit of it. I take that seriously. So that's why I make sure I put out a video every day and I try to make it the best that I can in that day. Um, am I perfect? No, I'm not. But I just want y'all to know that I appreciate y'all so much. And the growth of the channel has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, I couldn't have asked for this. You know, I work really hard, like really hard on this, y'all. I, I do. I work really hard, more than probably y'all think. Um, but I enjoy it. I do. I, I, I enjoy it. And I enjoy working hard as well. So it's like both. Um, I don't know what to do with myself if I'm not working hard. I've done that my whole life. I've had a job since I'm 14 years old. You know, um, that's 30 years. I'm, you know, 44, 
How old am I? Yeah, 44. So, you know, I just want to thank y'all. I really, I mean that. Thank y'all for all the support and for everything. So I can't wait to see what vetted. We're just going to keep growing y'all. So thank y'all again. Um, the Kevin Knuth video that I was going to make, that is coming tomorrow. So I just, this got interrupted. I found this out. I was breaking, you know, it's on Twitter. I was like, oh my God, what's going on with this? So I had to get this out first. I thought y'all would want to know about this. It's very important. The Kevin Knuth video isn't going anywhere. So we are going to cover that. Um, and yeah, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow, y'all. Remember, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know, I miss a day. So remember, every day's a gift, vetters. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.